Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 13 is brought to you by examfa.com. No more fear from exam. So we have to factorize this. You see the degree is 3. So my answer will be something in this form x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. For degree 2, typically I say x minus a, x minus b, but if it's degree 3, because x into x into x is x cube and you have to get x cube here. Okay. And this is 120. So A, B, C will be 120. Since A into B into C is 120, so we have to find factors of A, uh, this uh, 120, and those will be the values. Example in this case, A, B was 6. So I first found the factor of 6. There is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3. So those were the numbers I was looking for. I tried 1, I tried 2, I tried 3, right? Similarly here as well, since ABC is 120, I have to find the factor of 120. So factors, that is the first starting point. Factors of 120 will be, uh, what? 120 again say is uh, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is not a factor, 8, 10, 11 is not a factor, 12, 13 is not a factor, 14 is not a factor, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, not a factor, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is not a factor, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, and I think that's 16. These are the possible values. Of A, B, and C. So by hidden trial, let's try 1. So we'll try P of 1. So assuming this is Px. So P of 1 is what? x cube, that is 1 cube, minus 23 into 1 square, plus 142x, that is 1, minus 120. We solve there, this becomes 1 minus 23 plus 142 minus 120. So 143 minus 120, sorry, 142. 142 plus 1 is 143 minus 123 is 120 minus 120 is 0. This is 0. If P1 is 0, I can see that X minus 1 is a factor. So X minus 1 is one factor. So if X minus 1 is one factor, I can actually divide this by x minus 1. Okay. I can do the division. So what I'll get is, let's divide this. x square, x cube minus x square, subtract 23 minus 23 minus minus this plus this becomes 22 minus 22 x square plus 142 x so minus 22 x minus 22 x square and this becomes plus 22 x so this 142 minus 22 is 120 x minus 120, so this becomes plus 120. Sorry, this is what you get. Correct. That means, till now I have seen Px is nothing but x minus 1 into x square minus 22x plus 120. Now you can actually factorize this. By any way, you can use middle uh, split, uh, middle term or you can use factor theorem. I'll use the middle term, pretty easy one. So I have to split this 22 in such a way, the product of the number is 120. So I'll split this into minus 10x and minus 12x. So minus 10 into minus 12 is 120. So what I'll get is x minus 1 is common here, plus 120. So let me solve this here, x into x minus 10 minus 12 into x minus 10. 
Further, if we solve, this becomes x minus 1 into x minus 10 into x minus 12. And that is my answer. Not that difficult. Since it was of degree 3, first I found the first factor using factor theorem. And then I converted this into uh, 2 degree, that is quadratic polynomial. And, and then I use the normal split method to actually split this. So here we determine which of the following polynomials has x plus 1 as a factor. So if x plus 1 as a factor, p of minus 1 will be equal to 0. Pretty easy, just put the values. Let's try for this. p of minus 1 is equal to what? Minus 1 cube plus 1 square plus minus 1, sorry, minus 1 square plus 1. This becomes minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So all this, this becomes 0. So I can say that x plus 1 is a factor of this. Similarly, you can try for this, for the other one. For this one, p of minus 1 will be minus 1 to the power 4 plus x cube minus 1 to the power 3 plus x square minus 1 to the power 2 plus x minus 1 plus 1. This gets cancelled. This becomes 1. This becomes minus 1. This gets cancelled. So you are left with minus 1. Since it is minus 1, not equal to 0. So I will say that x plus 1 is not the factor. Similarly, you can try with these two as well. Okay, so you will see that these are also not the factor, only this particular, in this particular case, x plus 1 is the factor. You can try that, pretty easy. Similar question, using factor theorem, you have to determine whether this gx is a factor of px and gx is given. For example, in this case, gx is x plus 1, we have to find if gx is the factor of px. So if I can prove that x plus, since it is x plus 1, if I can just prove that p minus 1 is equal to 0, that means gx is the factor. In this case, if we can put uh, prove that p of minus 2 is equal to 0, that means x plus 2 is the factor of this. In this case, if I can prove uh, p of plus 3 is equal to 0, that means x minus 3 is the factor of this. Okay, I can do one for you. Let me do the first one. So let me find the p of minus 1, 2x cube, that is 2 of minus 1 cube plus x square minus 1 square minus 2x that is minus 1 minus 1. So you solve this, this becomes minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1. Cancel, cancel 0. Since it is 0, I can see that yes, x plus 1 is a factor of x. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of each of the following. Since x minus 1 is a factor, I know that p of 1 is equal to 0. Factor theorem. So let's find the value of p of 1 and then uh, equate it to 0, you'll get the value of k. For example, let's try this. So p of 1 is what? x square is 1 square plus x is 1 plus k, it has to be equal to 0. You solve this, k is equal to minus 2. Similarly, you can do rest. Here also you can make p of 0, sorry, p of 1. So you can find p of 1 equal to 0. That is 2 into 1 square plus k into 1 plus root 2 is equal to 0. Equate this, you will get the value of k. Okay, so you can do remaining ones. We have to factorize this. So we can factorize using any method. So I'll use split method. I like that. So I have to split minus 7 into such way that the product is 12. So I can split into minus 4x minus 3x. So minus 4 into minus 3 is plus 12. So I can do that for you first. This becomes 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1. 4x common, 3x minus 1, minus 1 into 3x minus 1. So you get 4x minus 1 into 3x minus 1. Pretty easy. Same thing here. 7x I have to split into such a way that I get the product as 2 into 3, 6. So I'll say 6x plus x. Because 6 into 1 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. You can try this actually. This becomes 2x square plus 6x plus x plus 3. So I'll get 2x common x plus 3 plus 1 common x plus 3. So what I'll get is 2x plus 1 into x plus 3. Similarly here you have to split 5x in such a way that you get 6 into 6 minus 36. 
So I'll split 5x into 9x minus 4x. 9 into minus 4 is 36 and 9 minus 4 is 5. Similarly here, you have to split minus 1 such way that you get 4 in minus 4 into 3 is minus 12. So I'll split in fashion of minus 4x plus 3x. So minus 4 into 3 is minus 12, minus 4 plus 3 is minus 6. And with that you can actually solve it. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.